Um, I have. I'd like to try out for the team. Hey. Hi, my name is Lola Bunny. Lola? Hello. Uh, my name is Bugs. <clears throat> you want to play a little one-on-one, -on -one, doll? Doll? Uh-huh. Don't ever call me doll. Chance. Hey, nice playing with you. Nein, 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 nein! Was alles soll ich von diesen Juden Schweine noch ertragen? In ihrem angstgetriebenen Wahn verbreiten. Der Bärenjuden nennt, soll ein Golem sein. Das ist doch Soldatentratsch, die nach Belieben erscheinen und verschwinden können. Sie wollen beweisen, dass sie aus Fleisch und Blut sind. Dann bringen sie sie mir. As if you needed more reasons to not see this abomination of a film, Space Jam, a new legacy, now the director's out there calling fans weirdos or super weird for uh, having a problem with the changes to Lola Bunny. Now, I know I'm not going to see this movie. Why? Space Jam 2 never needed to get made. On top of that, LeBron James is a communist shill. Uh, on top of that, it's Hollywood, and I pick and choose my movies very carefully now these days. Now, I'm not sure, you know, you could say that Space Jam is, uh, I'm the target audience of it, but I do know that there are a lot of people my age that may want to see it because we remember seeing the original when we were young. Uh, but now Space Jam, a new Legacies director, thinks y'all are super weird for mourning the loss of an overly spicy Lola Bunny. Overly spicy, huh? The new, less curvy version of Lola appears in an upcoming Space Jam sequel. Now, it's funny how the same people that uh, cheer for this are, are the same weirdos that stand like She-Ra, like the girl-on-girl -girl relationships in She-Ra, and do the same kind of stuff. But when it's like men, and I think mostly ironically, uh, you know, being, uh, you know, talking about how, how good looking Lola was, um, then that's suddenly a problem that needs to be changed. All women in film need to be less attractive, um, cartoon or otherwise. That's what Hollywood wants. Um, when director Malcolm D. Lee signed on the Space Jam A New Legacy, he knew he wanted to rework Lola Bunny's too attractive form presented in the 1996 original. What he did not know is that would bring a sea of super weird discourse concerning the now flat chest beneath Lola's basketball jersey. I mean, the original Lola Bunny wasn't exactly, her cup wasn't overflow a thing. I had no idea that people would be that up in arms about a bunny not having a chest, Lee told Entertainment Weekly ahead of the film's premiere. Really? See, this is gaslighting. You did know that. You did know. You know why I know that you knew? Because you said that you were going to make her, uh, you were going to make her more plain on purpose. You knew you had gone into this film knowing that you wanted to make her less attractive. Now the men in the, you know, in the, in, in the same, these are the, from the same people that are constantly talking about, you know, 37 ways I'd like to ravish Henry Cavill's body. Uh, but this is too far. Now look again, just like with She-Ra, is there some small percentage of people like rule 34 people out there? Sure. But the overwhelming majority of people that had similar criticisms for She-Ra and that had similar criticisms for Lola Bunny are doing it, you know, they, they, they talked about her being, you know, cute, ironically, or maybe when you were a kid, uh, you know, I was like, um, what, 10 years old when this movie came out? When did it come out? 93. Um, and that was like, yeah, okay. When I was 10, I thought a cartoon bunny was cute. And yes, we had all those other women who were like, oh, you can't be strong and have a big chest. Sure you can, but we're talking about a cartoon bunny, not women. Oh, oh, okay. And so why exactly did you want to rework it in the first place then? Because there are definitely women 
who are strong and independent and also heard their cups overflow. There is a bountiful, uh, you know, set of uh, sw sweater. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go further down this road. The controversy even made their way to actor Zendaya, who voices the new, less attractive version of Lola. And that's what I'm, I'm not going to use their language. I didn't know it was going to happen either. I definitely know we love her, but I didn't know it was going to be such as focus as it was. Really? You didn't? Zendaya tells EW, but I understand because she's a lovable character. She's very important, so I get it. Now it's up to the viewers to get their head on straight when it comes to loving a character and being attracted to an animated female rabbit. Isn't that it's such a hilarious gaslighting tactic? This is the same thing that, and still to this day, I haven't made a video about She-Ra. In fact, I haven't mentioned her until today in on this channel for like, I don't know, a year plus or something like that, maybe longer. And they're still obsessing about it. And their entire pushback. See... People that support this stuff know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. But they pretend that you're the crazy one. Oh, you just want to hook up with cartoon characters, weirdo. Um, not, not, not very progressive, is it? I thought that you shouldn't kink shame people. These you know, people who who, you know, Puritans like this, the same people that celebrated like Tifa. Um, the changes they made to Tifa in um, Final Fantasy. Like, willing censorship by the team at Square Enix, by the way. Very disappointing. Um, you know, they're saying, what, you just want to hook up with a cartoon character, you weirdo? No, 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 no. That's them covering for um, their shenanigans. And you see here, this is back on March when the, in the, March when the first thing dropped. Twitter has got to be one of the worst places on the internet from fake outrage to contrived hot takes. Everything that's wrong with the human condition can be found on the social media platform. The app has led to some pretty nonsensical discourse over the years, and we're treated to some absolute stupidity as new images surface from the film Space Jam, A New Legacy, which will be coming out later this summer. Fans immediately took issue with the likes of Lola Bunny, who was an infamous character in the first movie as she is Bugs love interest. In the first movie, she came out and be found wearing tight fitting basketball clothes while in the new film, her clothes are a lot baggier. Why? I mean, you want to wear tight clothes when you were a basketball. You don't want baggy clothes. Um, unless you have nothing to do with your life, this is completely normal. Again, gaslighting. If you didn't have a political agenda or an ideological agenda, I should say, then why change it at all? What happened to women can be beautiful and be strong? It's it this to me, it, it would be difficult to convince me that these type of changes, by the way, it never happened to male characters. Uh, male characters totally fine being like, uh, you know, shirtless and rippling eight packs. That's totally fine. It's it's only when it's a woman who's attractive that it's an issue. And I strongly I strongly suggest, or I, I postulate, I, su I suggest to you that the reason is the women who design this uh, do it on purpose. Or the men are influenced by women who do this on purpose. That's, that's, my, that's my, my, my opinion. Now, I'd be open to reading the comments in the comment section down below uh, if, I, if you think I'm wrong. Well, for the fine people on Twitter, it was the worst thing that could have possibly happened with hours of Lola Bunny became a trending topper on Twitter, as well as fans were upset that she's no longer being attractive. Much in the same way that women in video games debut, nerds were mad that the anthropomorphic bunny did not meet their beauty standards anymore. While some users were quite aware of the absurdity, it seems like actual people who are perturbed by the redesign and want to see something new. In fact, the artists have even created their own versions of Lola Bunny that they think is better. You mean that they know is better? This is better. I'd rather see that. I don't understand the, re the need to remake Space Jam in the first place. China Braun can't even can't ever replace Jordan. How are they going to do Bugs Bunny like that? Went from hot bunny to muscle-bound money. The woke keeps waking up from the sleep. 
from sleeping. Gotta love all the pressure that's coming from the woke. Not sure why people are so soft these days. These people are all woke, the same ones that don't know how it is to have conflict because they're all stuck in the house all day long. I mean, am I going to argue, you know, that I want her to be attractive again? No, go ahead, you know, but are you going to do the same for male characters? Of course not. Uh, this is about uh, an ideological push. Calling your fans weirdos, uh, probably not a good idea. I won't be saying Space Jam, a new legacy, and I hope you won't be either. Make sure you leave a like on this video, and if you haven't yet, please do click that red subscribe button down below. It's the only way you'll find my videos, and I would greatly appreciate it.